Well, good evening, my friends. Welcome to Carpo's channel. Tonight I'm coming at you as an American citizen. Not a YouTuber or a philosopher, but an American citizen. I know a lot of you don't live in America, but a majority of you do. And I wanted to stop for a moment and give a little bit of, I guess, my opinion on this issue of division in the country. It's of course nothing new. I have seen lots of division in my day, but nothing quite like we have today. And I believe that this social media has allowed us to be much more divisive and it's become much more complex. But that said, I don't want to get too much into this. I want to keep it straight and to the point. And notice I'm wearing a flag draped over my shoulders and you may think that's disrespectful to the flag, but I disagree strongly. This was my father's flag that was given to me at his funeral back in 92. And he passed away from cancer, which I believe was triggered by Agent Orange in Vietnam. My father fought in Nam. His father fought in uh, World War II. My mother's father, I believe, was in the Navy as well. My wife's father, and probably his father. There's a long history of service in my family and uh, I was uh, I guess I would say I was smart enough to not join because I would have been sent off to a pointless war or another. The idea that the US is at war with itself, the idea that there's somehow a civil war brewing right now is nothing more than propaganda designed to keep people divided designed to keep people distracted and the people eat it up because sometimes when we can't see our enemy it's easier to point the finger at our neighbors there are many different paths that we can take in our lives but it doesn't have to be one way or another you can go fully left wing you can go fully right wing both of them are in the dark when we really look at the big picture what we have to realize is that there is red and blue on the flag, which of course doesn't represent Democrats and Republicans, but it's come to represent this opposition of ideas in many people's minds. These colors, red and blue, they run deep, red, white, and blue within this country. It's something that many countries have pride in their flag their colors their ideals their values and when people are pointing the fingers at let's say the left and saying that they are un-american because they want to change one law or another law because maybe they have ideas that are different from yours i think that that's a travesty i think that that's really holding us back because honest, rational discourse is what this country was founded on. We have a lot of skeletons in the closet. The Founding Fathers were far from perfect. We have a history built on slavery, bloodshed, colonialism. Half of the world is dominated by Western interests. And now we're just starting to give land back to people that have lost it for centuries. Yet we still love our country. We know our government has done bad things. We know that we've made bad decisions. We know that we've locked Japanese up in internment camps in World War II because we were scared. We know that we sterilized people who we deem to be mentally unwell or people who are of a race that we chose to be inferior. Sterilized unwillingly in the early 1900s and it was Hitler who was quoted as saying he thanked America for the ideas behind eugenics to help sponsor his program. And I'm not pointing the finger at America. I'm saying we have a sickening history. We've killed our own people who are protesting in the streets by the Pinkertons. You've heard of the Pinkerton security. They, they, they shot and gunned down a bunch of people in the streets who were protesting for a regular decent pay and a 40-hour work week. We've come a long way. And my point in bringing up all these travesties and horrible things from the past is to say that when we look at what we have right now and we think that, oh, we're in the end times, that we'll never get along, 
that we'll never have rights. Just remember, we've worked hard to get to where we're at. Our ancestors have fought hard to get to where we're at. We don't have to fight among each other and call each other libtards or cucks. We don't have to repeat these constant words. And of course, I don't have any of the... I don't want to get into the slang terms going both ways. You get the point. It's easy to label people. It's easy to make assumptions about people. It's easy to just point the finger and say, ha ha, you're a dumbass. Say, oh, you voted for Trump, you're a fool. Or you didn't vote for Trump, you're a fool. It doesn't have to be about politics, but it is. It always is. I'd love to see the people overcome this time in history and be able to look back and laugh at how foolish we were. Because many of us really want the same thing. You know the saddest thing about it? While we're arguing about trade policies or wars or whatever else our country is doing, what do you think people care about most? Healthcare is right up there at the top. It's one of the top three things that U.S. citizens are concerned about, and many people still don't have it. So we actually have more in common than you might realize when it comes to the average person, a person who's struggling, whether they're left or right wing doesn't really matter. Thanks for listening. Talk to you all later. Be well.